First, I'm gonna use a bowl and trace some circles with a marker onto my wood. That way when I cut it out, I can see what I'm doing. Uh, you can use any size bowl. I'm using a big one because I want this to be really big. Now I'm just gonna cut them into individual pieces so when I cut them into circles, it'll be easier to manage. If this seems like too much work or you just don't want to cut out all this stuff, you could go to Hobby Lobby and just go to their wood section and they have circles and all kinds of fun shapes. So that's a quick bypass of this. Now I'm just cutting out my circles and I'm going to do this times eight. Since plywood is thin, it chips really easy, so I'm just gonna go in and sand my edges, my sides, my top and my bottom, just make it nice and smooth so when I paint it, it will take it better. I'm going to do this to all eight circles. So I'm going to drill holes into both top and bottom. I'm gonna make sure my key ring can fit in it, so you might wanna check that when, after you drill it. So my silly self forgot to put holes at the bottom. So I have a hole at the top, but no hole at the bottom for the next one to chain through. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and mark where I need to put a hole. I just lined it all up so I knew it would be, you know, even. <laughs> That's why the tape measure's here. Don't forget to wipe them with a the wet rag. Now I'm gonna prime all my circles. Woo! Do this times eight. to paint you. This gray I'm mixing I'd say is the equivalent to one scoop of white and one scoop of black. It's just a darker gray. So I'm gonna cover the whole thing because we're painting the new moon. Don't forget those edges now. I'm just painting some white around the edge and blending it a bit just to make it look all glowy. Ooh. Okay, so for the moon, the crater texture, I'm just gonna keep booping it up. Technically, it's called stippling, but I like booping better. So I'm gonna use just straight black and go throughout the whole thing and just add the design of the moon on it, like craters and such, and just boop, boop, boop it up. You thought I was kidding. It's just straight booping. Ooh, ah. I know what you're thinking. Why is she painting white on white? Well, it's so it'll blend. So get off my back. Don't forget to blend where they meet. It looks pretty. Ooh. As you can see, I'm using the classic boop technique to help blend it, and I just keep going over and over it until I like how it looks. You can use your finger too sometimes. <laughs> That's what she said. I also went back over it with white just to help blend it a little better. Why does a crescent moon need waxing? I don't know. For those of you missing sports, first quarter moon. Oh wait, too soon? My bad. That's right, boop, boop, boop it up. Boop, 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 boop.
In order to attach them all together, I used key rings and then just slid them in there. I suggest using a butter knife to get it open wide enough to go around the plywood. And then just connect them all, and I, I divided it into two. Now I'm using the twine. It's a little bit stronger than yarn. And I'm just going to use tape on the ends where I want to cut it so that way it doesn't fray. And I loop it through three times. I feel like it's strong enough. And then I'm going to tape it uh, together at the end, at both ends really. So that way it'll face and look nice and hang. I'm just tying a double knot so it will stay in and keep it secure. For watching this episode of Wednesdays We Craft. We made a really cool moon wall hanger or wall hanging. We made a really cool moon faces of the moon wall hanging. I love it. So I saw something similar to this in a hippie shop. Uh, it was smaller but I wanted to make it really big and then I just divided it into two because I like how it's like a mirror image. But if you wanted to do this uh, I know that it's crazy right now and people probably can't get out and get supplies, but this video will still be here. So yeah, just stay home, be safe. I hope that you all find something fun and crafty to do, and hopefully crafts can bring us together. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely push the thumbs up button and please subscribe so you can get a fun video every Wednesday. And if you hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I post a new video and everything. So thank you so much. Have a great day and see you next week. Mm -hmm.